Hey everyone, this is Mushroom Tornado. Um, this is a mod that I didn't know about until recently, but this mod, this mod seems really exciting. Like, cause I'm really into learning about natural disasters. In fact, I know I haven't been recording much lately, but in this case, the reason why I wasn't recording is because I was actually on a storm chasing trip. So yeah, I saw a couple of tornadoes. It was really awesome. But yeah, as you can tell, this is kind of this is kind of a mod that. I guess you could say would appeal to me because of that because I mean I'm just into weather and that kind of stuff so anyway I'm looking forward to this mod so as you can see they don't have quite they didn't quite have like much of a title screen or intro music but I mean it's a demo so what do you really expect so anyway I don't really care about that I just I just care I care about what the mod has to offer so anyway let's get going Yep, that was totally me in high school. So I guess they're doing po- See, that's the thing. Like, I can understand doing poems a few times, but after that I'm like, I'd run out of ideas. I don't know. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, I was thinking you were going to say it wasn't washed or something. Yeah, the anime. You could have read the Parfait Girls instead. Yeah, severe weather. That's always exciting. Well, usually, if it's cold out, you won't expect severe weather. It's usually cold. It, start, it has to start out warm in order for there to be enough instability. And then 
usually the cold front is what actually causes the lifting, but the cold air doesn't come in until after. And yeah, there's my, my meteorology. My meteorology studies speaking there. Yeah, how are you going to make it up to her? Yeah, that's total cringe right there. Wow, talk about an MC moment. Wonder if this is gonna be an Atsuki based mod? I hope so. Yep, okay. Come on, come on, Natsuki. Yeah, the anime. You have no excuse for that. Well, maybe come prepared for that, Seori. Is this a foreshadow?
Okay, talk about multitasking. Why does Monica like to read people's minds? I just hope we don't have to read the poems, because I've done enough of that already. Oh, nice job, Sayori. Okay. <laughs> Come on, give her. Obviously, she needs to eat something.
It was anime. Yeah, and you also spent three hours on anime. Just admit it. Oh, come on, don't make this into a, a bigger deal than it needs to be. Come on, don't turn it into another blow up over nothing. Ugh. I've seen this a little too much, even though it's kind of what she would do. Man, all this and turns into a little episode when it doesn't need to be. That's just like, you know what, I can understand if if MC constantly forgot, yeah, that'd be a problem, but yeah. Come on, Natsuki, you don't need to make it such a huge deal. Oh, come on. Stop interrupting her. Oh, come on. Stop this. Yeah, you kind of roasted her there. But I still don't think that warrants a reaction of her crying, though. Uh, let me look, make sure I didn't misread it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's her, maybe... You know... I don't know. Uh, saying showing maturity, like... I guess that, then again, I guess that does hit pretty hard for her, since she's constantly seen as immature and all that. Still, I don't think this warrants that reaction. I think they're... I think they're trying, the mod developers are trying to put a drama, put a bunch of drama in a scene that doesn't really need it, but I don't know. And again, I'm the one who's saying he's going to work on a mod and then writes like 10 sentences a day and then quits, so who am I to really be the critic here? Oh my, come on Natsuki. Oh dear. Okay, no, 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 no. That, just no. Okay, I'm sorry, mod developers. That, I can say, that's a little too far. Like, it, that's even a little out of character for Natsuki right there. I mean, she's known for being dramatic, but that... All, 
all over saying she needs to be mature and accept an apology? No, that's not enough to, for her to quit the club. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I can't I can't really get behind that s scene here. But anyway. Maybe, I guess maybe it wasn't just Yuri's comment, I guess they're trying to hint that it was also Monica and Sayori's comments, but still, even then, I'm like, that still shouldn't be enough to get her to, I guess, I guess maybe they're trying to hint that there's something more going on, which, I mean, there's always something more going on with that Suki, but, I don't know, I just don't feel like the scene really makes much sense, because she's, she seems like she wouldn't, she's, she gets dramatic, but she just seems like she'd be a little stronger than that. I don't know. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm just gonna see what this see what goes on next. And now Yuri's gonna quit, isn't she? She's gonna do some self harm, isn't she? Yeah, and watch, she's gonna come right back in. Due to the threatening storm, huh? The only... The only way that I can see that happening is if there's a tornado warning. But from what I understand, this mod's about a flash flood, and... Well, then again, if there's flooding on the roads, maybe they're like, they don't want them to go back in that dangerous weather. Sayori, that's probably not the correct reaction. Unless it's a tornado warning, though, I don't see how they can, like, detain them in the school. Like, I don't... Man. They're bringing a... Okay. They're making... Apparently they're making it about a flash flood. Maybe they should have made it about a tornado. Then again, that's just... I'm saying that probably because I love tornadoes. And 
you know, I'm learning to chase them, so maybe, maybe that's my bias there. Oh, Sayori. Yep, that was my exact thought right there, Sayori. <laughs> Well, disappointment wrong. Okay, that's not exactly how it works. Unless... I guess there must be... Unless, like, there's actual, like, flooding that's, like... That's, like, covered several roads to the point that, like, they're literally shutting down the city.
Oh, come on. This is why you need to lift weights, my friend. Or you could just make multiple trips, like what a reasonable person would do. Yeah, she actually is it seems like her hesitance means she actually wanted to come back.
Yeah, she has bruises, we know. Honestly though, I think this scene was a little unnecessary. I think they should have just gotten to the natural disaster part. She's gonna say to pick up the sleeping bags. Yep. Uh, don't you have lights? Okay, usually hail is not gonna last that long because the individual storms, like... Like you... Uh, I'm guessing this is a squall line storm, and you guys... A lot of you probably don't know what that is. Basically, it's a big line of storms. Usually, it's only the front of the squall line, like right as the storms come in, that, that you get the strong storms, like, because that's where all the energy is, because at the back end of the storms, it's just all a bunch of rain, cold air and stuff. It's not going to have, like, a bunch of hail or anything. So, yeah, I don't understand how the hail could be still going on. Yeah, maybe I should have worked on this mod. You better not have been asking if you could sleep with him. And no, I don't mean that in the sexual way. I mean literally, lay down with him.
Yeah, except his pictures are deadly. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that she was asking to lay down with him. I don't know why that even came up to my mind. Probably because I've seen too many mods where she'll do something like that. It's just annoying. The more you ask that, the more you make it seem like one. <laughs> yeah, that makes it sound really nice. Oh dear, how's this gonna look to the other club members? Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. Open your eyes, dummy.
Open your eyes, you idiot! Okay, I've... Before you go on, I've got a major problem with this. So if the... The only way they could keep them in, I think, the school would be because there's a flood threat, like, and it's, like, impossible to get home. But if there's a flood threat, that, like, if the... If the flooding is bad enough that it can submerge, it can get up to, like, the third floor of the school, that means the school is in a really low-lying area, and that's the last place you'd want to keep somebody during a flood threat. So yeah, something doesn't add up here. Yeah, that that could have been written a little better. Okay, and please tell me how in the world a flood somehow got them out of the school. Like, like they're still in the club room. Are you telling me the windows busted out and then it just pulled them out? I guess. Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna end the episode here because it's a good stopping point. Yeah. I don't know. There's some things I like about this mod. Some things it's like kind of unrealistic. I'm like, I don't know. I like the a a action part of it though. I mean, just keeping me hooked on it. Like, so anyway, I will record the next episode of this hopefully not too long from now. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next episode.